Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows Insider build to look at. This is 22581 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel and beta channel. And this is the first time that one of these 22H2 builds has come to the beta channel. So at the moment, beta and dev are in sync, which means you can switch between them if you want. So you see at the moment I'm on the dev channel and I can switch to the beta channel. Normally you can't do this because the dev channels get the latest development build the beta channel gets slightly more stable and release preview you get just before they go out to everybody else so normally you, you get the you know you're in the dev channel and you can't switch to beta because beta is like a effectively a more stable older code base but at the moment they're in sync so now is your chance you can do that that means that there isn't a lot to see in this build but uh, if you're wanting to switch your machine from dev to beta you can just do that now so actually, in terms of new things in this build, there's not a huge amount. There's, if, you, if you're if you on the beta channel, then there is a massive amount of changes and a lot of things like tablet changes and, and things like that. But um, there, if you're already on dev, then you're not going to see these. One thing I did notice is the search button, the search screen has changed. In fact, if I go up to start, you'll notice I've got a little thing here. And when I go into there, you see this is the new search screen that uh, people are going to start to see soon um, so that's showing up on that build on there the rest of the changes are mainly uh, fixes so they fixed issues with the wrong fonts for non-english uh, language devices uh, they fixed some uh, drag and drop with auto taskbar so this is where you can drag onto an application uh, in task on the taskbar and if this was on auto auto hide mode it would crash and they fix that as well and um, they fix some issues where swiping up from the tablet mode when you, this is in tablet mode which would show the widgets they fix some issues with the start menu where it was uh, flickering at the top the search and they fix some issues with the all apps list where um, as well they fix issues with updating the context menu so it now says move to front rather than move to top. So um, when you say move to front, if I go like that, it should move that up to the front like that. Um, I actually think move to top is probably a bit clear, but there you go. Um, they fixed some issues with uh, the start with the file explorer crashing and uh, some text input issues and some windowing issues. I've noticed on uh, I'm thinking I've noticed on the on the on the new task manager it was always paused mode on my machine for some reason. So if I go into here I can change that to normal and then after a reboot or after the after the build change anyway, it's gone back to the, the pause mode. I don't know whether that's a bug or um, by design. Uh, it's still um, no issues with this build, the uh, taskbar that collapses when you open it up into tablet mode. I won't take my keyboard off now as it might mess up my rec recording. Um, that will auto collapse. Um, that auto collapses when you take the keyboard off and in some cases it's um, it's not automatically coming back again. And there's, they fix some, there's still some issues with widgets as well. But overall that's it with this build 22581. So not a huge amount of changes, but if you're coming from from the beta, on the beta channel, then there is a lot. There's new tablet features. There's a whole bunch of fixes. There's start menu, folder naming, or folder creations in general. That's all new as well. So plenty to look back at. And I've got a separate video on the tablet features if you're interested in that. Uh, so now is a good opportunity to, take, to decide what channel you want your devices to be on. I'm now just considering what to do with my devices at the moment. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.